couldn't wait for week two of the XFL, and now here it is. From Audi Field in Washington, D.C., the 1-0 hometown defenders are a touchdown favorite against the 1-0 visiting New York Guardians. And on five, there is no coin toss. There's only a kickoff, and Hunter Nicewander will put it in the air. Everybody's released as soon as the catch is made. And he's out to the 25-yard line and swung around. First down and 10. The penalty has him backed up to their own 20-yard line, and Jones comes out to throw. Sets his feet and fires and zips it in. He's got a man across the middle. It is Eli Rogers out to the 45-yard line. Tom Luganville. Yes, guys, very sad news as it relates to Eli Rogers. Lost his mother this week. She passed away Latin part of this week. Her funeral is actually taking place right now, guys, and he chose to stay with this football team. You on the ball, Nebraska. Oh, hurry, hurry, Let's go. Jones to throw for it. Flush from the pocket. Can see the sticks. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. They're going to mark him out at the 33-yard line of New York. Hurry, two. On third and seven. Pressure up the middle. Jones hit as he throws, and it's complete to Eli Rogers. Front of the first down. Cardell Jones hanging in there, allowing Rogers to come free. Savon Walker had the pressure. It's a gain of 18. <laughs> Jones to throw. End zone. Got a man wide open. from Jones and DC draws first blood it's a beautiful route here and it shouldn't happen defensively you look at the defender outside leverage number 22 that's ask you Henry you go you see what Justin Vogel is looking at special teams player of the week and it's a fake it's Williams Marquise Williams. And 10 now. One second to snap it again. Just get it away. McGloin. Lots of traffic. Gets it off to his back. Victor making some people miss. Lowers the shoulder. And the ball comes out and D.C. has it. And the defenders are walking down the field with Raheem Moore. What a turn of events here. And a flag comes in at the end. And players continue to get together. One helmet came flying off. Another player is still down. And the benches are starting to empty as well. This is going to take some time to sort out. The player who recovered the fumble was touched down by contact at the 39-yard line. Please adjust the game clock to 3 minutes, 46 seconds. Well, there's there's got to be some flags for personal fouls afterwards, doesn't there? All kinds. As you see the return, and, and this is kind of where it got a little chippy. 38. 38 coming in, 70 Marco coming Thomas. in. Thomas. From what I could tell, that's Shamarco Thomas who started the, the after effect. Number 99 got an unsportsmanlike conduct foul for removing his helmet during the melee. First down. Second snap. Jones on the run. And able to complete. I'm Steve Levy. Welcome to Washington, D.C. On third and 13. Underneath is Pumphrey. They want to get the ball in his hands and in space because he can do that for you. Jamar Summers finally brought him down, but not until Pumphrey ripped off 17 in the first. And this is what veteran quarterbacks do. Hey, it's third and long, no problem. You're thinking you got to force it downfield, right? No, not necessarily. You got your best ball carrier working out into the flat with a lot. 27. On the way and good. Got back just in time prior to the opener and a lower body injury came to camp banged up. McLean had all sorts of time. There's the deep shot and it's picked off. Intercepted. Matt Elam is there, the former first round pick of the Baltimore Ravens. With this look, you might be able to work Kari Lee on the scene. 
Here's Jones, got a man wide open, fit under throw, and still able to make the catch is Rashad Rocket Ross. Far at the half here. Here's Ross on the way. Splits the uprights, and it's good. <laughs> Nothing to do it. And the point will be dropped by Jay Bromley. <laughs> Bit of a low snap again. McGloin intercepted. He's picked off down the sideline. Jameer Thurman to the house. Touchdown. Pick six for the D.C. defenders. They got one a week ago, and they've got one in week two as well. Defenders score on defense. Diana. He could run that fade route. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Get it. Here comes the pressure for New York. Jones able to escape. Throw to the end zone. It is up and it's caught. It's Corey Lee if it counts. There is a flag. See if it was a push off or not. Corey Lee's a big target, big body. Touchdown DC for now. But let's check the marker. Pass interference. Offense number 86. 10 yard penalty. Still third down. Again at Houston. Third and 21. Pick six off the board. Here's Cardell. Throwing a 50 50 ball and it's intercepted. It is DeWan Hines on the interception. There's a penalty marker down though at the five yard line. So let's see who pushed off of who that time. Offensive pass interference, number one. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is an interception. First down. The scram. And St. Louis looked go. really good last week against Dallas. Pumphrey gives it back to Cardell Jones. It's caught. DeAndre Tompkins. Little trickeration by D.C. that was so effective a week ago. Takari Lee for a touchdown. They get a big play out of that one, 21 yards. I love the design, too, a little jet sweep, and here's the double forward pass rule, by the way. <laughs> it's entirety, they flip it forward. That is a pass. Well, no, it's obvious, I know what I want. The conversation on that New York sideline continues as Cardell Jones was taken down, fumbled the football, was never touched, get up and throw to DeAndre Tompkins. And now he's taken down. That's clean living there by Cardell Jones and the D.C. defenders. And you got to think they're going to take another look at this because it looked like Cardell was swung to the ground. I thought it was a sack. Of course, the ball came loose. He picks it back up. Then he keeps it alive, climbs in the pocket, and keeps his eyes downfield to make a play. Unbelievable there. He tired Bryce Jones. Play fake. Get it out. Get it out. Indeed. Score, score, score. Rocket on the sideline. Not sure if he stepped out of bounds or not. No, he did not. Ross makes the grab. And left Bryce Jones in the dust. 18 yards on the play. Bryce Jones has seen a lot of action today. That was a really nice route by Ross as he threatened. For Eli Rogers. Can't haul it in. Bogged down that scoring drive. And they look to settle for the Ty Rossa field goal from 26 yards away. Hands out of here. Marquise well, Williams in some trouble. Doesn't feel the pressure throw as he's hit by Anthony Johnson. And we'll see if that'll go as he was down for a sack or an incomplete pass. If he got rid of it in time, they're just going to call it an incomplete pass. I think he could have at least given his receiver a chance on the sluggo. Just didn't like it. Came off it. Tried to make something out of nothing. And Wait for the call. After from further Neal. review, the quarterback's knee was down before he threw the ball. As a result, it'll be New York's ball at the 49-yard line in the middle of the field. Williams. And the one lets it go. And it is incomplete. Holy safety. You gotta think he's gonna be fired up to be back against his old team. Bradley Silve went the other way. Here's Cardell Jones. Why not? Caught. 
Rashad Ross went up and brought it down inside the 10. You're sleeping on the over here, Steve. I mean, the over's still in play, I suppose, and a great job by Ross. I mean, they have done a great job finding isolated opportunities. And Ross... Jones throwing, turning around, caught. It's go. Interest is high in Washington, D.C. One last shot at the end zone. Why not? Up for grabs. Hits the turf.